Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about basis and dimension of a vector space. A basis of a vector space is a set of vectors that, taken together, can represent every vector in the space, i.e. they are spanning, and are linearly independent. The number of vectors in a basis is called the dimension of the space. In this section, we're going to focus on the important concepts of basis and dimension in a vector space. We will learn how to determine whether a given set of vectors forms a basis for a particular vector space, and if so, what the dimension of that space is. Here's our question set. Consider the vector space R squared from our previous discussion, and consider the following sets of vectors in R squared. For each set, determine the following. Part A. Are the vectors in the set linearly independent? Well, yes, this is the standard basis, so definitely. For part B, does the set span R squared? Yes, it is the standard basis. Does the set form a basis for R squared? Yes. And if the set forms a basis for R squared, what is the dimension of R squared? Well, two, since there are two basis vectors. Next, let's do S2. S2 is 1, 1, 1, negative 1. Now these vectors are not scaled multiples of each other, which means that they're genuinely pointing in unique directions. So are they linearly independent? Yes. Do they span R squared? Yes. Since they are linearly independent and the dimension of R squared is 2, then any set that spans R2 with only two vectors is a basis, and it spans R squared. So part C is yes, and part D is 2. For number three, if you notice, the second vector is a scaled multiple of the first vector, which means that these vectors are not linearly independent. And to span R squared, you need at least two linearly independent vectors. So these do not span R squared. Does the set form a basis? No, because they are not even linearly independent. And part D is not applicable. And lastly, we need to do S4. But S4 is just the standard basis plus a linear combination of the two basis vectors. Well, S4 is definitely not linearly independent since these two vectors form a basis of R squared. That means this vector is a linear combination of these two vectors. So 4 is the same answer as 3. So that's going to be our answer section. Let's go back to the meta discussion. This meta is from the previous video that I wanted to emphasize in this next video. I want the progress section to synthesize the progress made throughout the entire conversation history. I also noticed that we're focusing a lot on linear algebra. So I'm gonna add this. I also noticed that we are focusing a lot on linear algebra. I wanna shift around various math concepts that are important and I want the difficulty to continue increasing as I provide correct answers. I've noticed that the difficulty in this lesson is about the same as the last, even though I have answered questions with high accuracy. All right, so I'm hoping this adjusts our chat GPT teacher so that we don't have to continue coming back to this point. I think this is the third time in this series that we've had to adjust ChatGPT's methodology of teaching. So let's see how this works. Commentary, great work. You've accurately analyzed the given sets of vectors in terms of linear independence, span, and basis. Feedback, your answers are completely correct. Here's a short summary. Progress, in our conversation so far, we've covered a range of important mathematical concepts. We've started by reviewing set theory, specifically focusing on operations between sets and functions between sets. From there, we dove into relations and functions before transitioning into more advanced algebraic structures like rings and fields. Your understanding of these structures was thorough as you successfully defined and analyzed them. Most recently, we've entered the world of linear algebra with a focus on vector spaces and basis and dimension. You've shown a great understanding of these linear algebra concepts by correctly identifying bases and dimensions for given vector spaces. Awesome. This is exactly what I was looking for. And it looks like our next video is going to be on analysis, sequences and limits, which I'm very excited to get into. Thanks everyone. And I'll see you in the next video.